Good morning, everyone. Oh. Does anybody else watch them videos that says wake up and choose violence and watch the chaos that, you know, afterwards? So that's what I did this morning. So um, I have an issue with people parking in that grassy area. For a garage sale, eh, really don't care. But this one person, I've asked him, I was like, listen, y'all have probably 50 to 100 parking spots and you don't need to park there. They got all the parking in the world. But for some reason, he likes to park right here. Uh, that's not them. And um, so anyways, I just called up a uh, uh, car removal service and they're gonna put signs up across the front of the building to no parking and they have to be up 24 hours. So I'll make sure to make a recording video of that. Um, once that happens, so I have a timestamp. But yeah, next time he parks this shit here, I'm getting it towed, like, within minutes of him parking. Yeah. Oh, and this is the one thing here for the cat. I put a little cat thing right here in the front, so she can look at Of course, she's not there now, but I don't know where she's at. And I have made a complete mess. Uh, I did bring over a bunch of shelves, and I brought over a truckload of uh, stuff that I'm bring it out and I'm gonna be working here the whole day um, I got one door left on the books and I think like four windows um, I'm gonna be knocking out some of them maybe this weekend um, I'm just gonna kind of see how everything plays out um, but yeah all in all everything seems to be going pretty good uh, this is the shelving setup that I've been talking about how I said I wanted to do a second set so and right now it's a it's a little wobbly so what i'm going to do is uh get everything shimmed and they have holes in the bottom of these so i'm going to anchor them down into the concrete and uh then i'm also going to wherever the shelf is here i'm going to drill a screw or something through here to where it goes into the wood to lock both of these together to hopefully keep everything more secure and then i think i'm gonna skip this one but i'm gonna do one more right here on, on the top of this, kind of like that one. So unfortunately, without a second set of hands, I can't do this one because I need someone on the other side to screw it in. But I think it's fine. I mean, I haven't had any real big issues with it uh, so far, so I think everything's holding up pretty good. But then once this is done, which I got to pull out this door here, whoop, right there. I got to pull out the door and so I could get back there because it's a little little bit of a tight fit. And then all this kind of random stuff um, is going to go on the shelves above it because all the bottom area. Um, let's say, hold on, let me show you. So I have all this glass that goes in the doors. And like this right here is an insert that goes into a door. This is like a half light insert. It's, you know, about 40 inches tall. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a shelf and I got a bunch more of these out the, uh, at the storage unit. I just gotta get them out. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of the shelves, put it right up about 40 inches so I can slide all the inserts in and then I can put stuff on top of them. So like on the short inserts, I might do them too high or you know do some different sizes on top. And then the very top is going to be a lot of extra storage for you know, like all these boxes here, they're just eating up space. And they're not something I'm using right this second, so I'm just gonna get them stacked up to the ceiling up top and, you know, kind of work on some things, so. And then I gotta go through and pick out, like these are the new doors that don't have hinges or handles. All the doors that do have hinges or handles, I gotta get them out. Like these, you can't stack them as closely as the other ones, so all these I'm gonna take out and I might put some, you know, put a shelf up high and then put some in here too, just to kind of stack them away. And like this one here, I got to put this uh, door, for, I got to take the handle set off and then I got to put the door back together. And this is going to be a, a used pre-hung that I can sell. You know, I can probably sell it for like 75 bucks. So, but yeah, it's getting really close now. It's just a matter of getting a little bit of stuff here and there done. And um, like I said before, it's all the, oh, there's some more inserts. It's all just the little fine tuning things that need to happen. 
you know, just little tiny stuff. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going out to Blandon, and then, man, that's going to be rough because I still got to load the truck. I got to do all this. So hopefully I'm going to go to bed a little bit early, and I'm going to try to wake up at 4.30. Or I can take a shower and, you know, get over there and be there at 6 so I can buy a booth and, and all the excess stuff that was from Pecan Park um, on Saturday. All that's going to Blandon. And then I got some new, you know, I got random stuff. Oh, like a couple things too. I was sitting there thinking. Like that big circle mirror that I've been trying to sell. This guy right here, that big circle mirror. I was like, you know what? I've always wanted a circle mirror. Mirror, 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 mirror. Okay, so mirror, no, damn it, mirror, mirror. I've always had trouble saying that word. Re the reflective glass is in the uh, shape of a circle. Um, you know, I've always wanted one, especially for my house. And it's like, I'm just going to keep it. You know, it's an $85 mirror. I can, did I say it right that time? I think I just, if I don't think about it, I can say it right. So, but it's, it's you know, at Ikea, it's $85. I already made money on the storage unit. It's free to me. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to keep that thing. And put it up at my house, like a fancy round, because I want my house to be um, uh, kind of like a modern, you know, kind of, uh, I'm going for a modern look, very clean, very chic, you know. So, and I got a lot of room on these shelves I got to fill. So, oh, and I've, sorry to go back and forth here, I'm just walking around thinking about things, that, you know, kind of bring you guys up to date on stuff I'm doing. But my mom's old shelf, which I still got a couple of things of hers on here um i'm gonna take all my door stuff like all the door handles all the stuff that i'm selling all the little door parts the peep sights the hinges you know and i'm gonna put uh have all this on here for sale and then like i said i want to be able to have some pieces of glass down the center you know or maybe leaned up against the back or something to where whenever i uh people come back here they can see the you know the high dollar pieces of glass so I kind of want this to be like a little mini showroom, maybe. But we'll see what happens. There's a, I think you've heard this once or twice before, but there's a lot of moving parts to my life. So, heck was that? oh, I just stepped on something. So, and I sold all my wrapping paper. I got someone picking it up today. I sold it all for 20 bucks. So, and then all the opened wrapping paper, all the wrapping paper that, um, you know isn't brand new i'm gonna go through and i'm gonna start wrapping up things a lot a lot of the jaguar boxes are going to be used this year for christmas but i'm going to start wrapping up things and giving away and uh this is going to be one hell of a christmas for everybody so oh and for my mom if you watch this yeah i'm filling up the den again so you may want to plan for that because uh I am going a absolutely crazy, and whether y'all want it or not, y'all gonna start getting stuff. That's all I'm gonna say. So, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap one item, put it in a box, wrap it up, and <laughs> y'all getting it. So, um, and for anybody in the family who's watching this, if you if you're wanting something, put a hint below of what you're what you're interested in for this Christmas. Or if your birthday's in between now and then, put a hint in the comments below. So, but on that note, um, I'm gonna get back to work here and got a lot of stuff to get cleaned up, which a lot of this stuff is just gonna bloop right up on the shelf, but I gotta go through and I'm gonna start back there and make sure all the shelves are uh, straight, which I can see some that look a little crooked from here. See, look how crooked that is. Look at that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to uh, go through just get this done and hopefully uh, my plan is to be done by 2 o'clock. And then that way I still have time to load up the truck and get everything ready for tomorrow. And then tomorrow afternoon I'll be back over here. And I want to start bringing doors too. So yeah. And I got to help her come in at uh, 10. Uh, she's going to uh, get here and I don't know what she's going to do. But hopefully she does something, mainly just, you know, here, here's a pile of stuff. Just put it out on the table, make it look good so I can 
figure out what I'm doing with it. But anyways, uh, peace, love, money. Thank you very much for watching. I'm out.